We have literally Hello. just left park. We're on our way to somewhere in somewhere. Yeah, we've, we've ditched the hot air balloon and the parachuting <laughs> idea. <laughs> and we're going to try and get a car to town, I think. Hitchhike think. somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right, we're going to try and get a ticket from Clapham's Fast Station to somewhere that has an airport. Sure. Hello, um, we're doing a charity hitchhike. Yeah. I was wondering if it was possible to get a ticket to Birmingham. You don't take part in any of these things, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, Cross country and great western, they both paged out already this morning. <laughs> like a boss. Um, yeah, plan A didn't work because train companies are bad. Bad people train companies, bad. Um, so we're going to try and go to Birmingham or Dover. We've left it nice and open for people. Anywhere at all. Following our monumental defeat at the train station, we decided to try and hitchhike for a bit, and then gave up, and then tried the buses. Hello. Um, we're going to try and hitchhike for um, Winston's wish and the furniture of protection. Uh, we're wondering if it's possible if we could get a ticket somewhere. Now, the problem here is we're only an agent for National Express. Hello. Uh, we don't have a chance to get you home. Uh, we're wondering if it's possible to get a ticket somewhere. Hello. Um, we're only an agent for National Express. Following the monumental fail of the buses, we then managed to hitchhike five miles out of Cheltenham and then got very, very depressed. On the, on the road, trying to pick up another, get another hitchhike thing. It's not going too well, but we got home. Yes. This is us trying to hitchhike. There's my sign. Lovely sign. Be nice. No. No. Ah! This can go on for hours. No! After spending hours trying to get out of Cheltenham, we gave up and headed back. We were then donated a lift to a service station where our journey really took off. From the service station we managed to hitchhike to somewhere roughly south of Bristol. We've just got off the car with some lovely elderly people who are at Exeter. Uh, and we dropped, we dropped off here. I'm not quite sure where we are. Our, our general plan at the moment is to find someone who's going somewhere and ask if we can tag along, but like I so said, we don't really much know where we are. It's um, currently 10 to 5, and we've got more optimism than we did a while ago, <laughs> so things are looking up. Yeah. Cool. We eventually managed to hitchhike out of that service station and got to another service station on the M4. How are things going? Not well. Not well. We're standing in uh, a service station. A service station. <laughs> Side, and the new motto. And we're trying to head east. Towards London. Follow the star. Yeah, we shall persevere. We shall persevere. It's now. Oh, actually. Uh, it is 12 past 8. 12 past 8. And we're having ourselves some BK because we're, we're very, very hungry. We have uh, 25 hours and 15 minutes of this challenge left. Yeah. Um, we just got our lift off a really awesome dude who. Uh, what was yeah, he? Pretty much done everything in life. Yeah. We then hitchhiked from service station to service station further east down the M4. Then, in one single long journey with an awesome couple we met at a service station on the M4, we managed to get all the way across the M25 and into a place called Ashford, where we paid for a hotel to crash. Hello. Uh, yeah, it's been a few hours since our last vlog. I'm pretty sure it was in. Um... Actually, I think it might have been Reading. Well, we're now in Ashford. We've travelled. Probably about 60, 70 miles in one car with a very nice couple. Uh, we found a little hotel somewhere off the street. It's in a pub, it's called uh, George's Hotel. Very busy pub in. Yeah, right, I'm going to toilet with a slidey door. And it is good. We've also actually managed to raise some money for our little charity box. People have been giving us money. Someone actually drove us from Reading to Swindon. And Swindon gave us two quid. And gave us three quid. Awesome. Which is so nice. So yeah, um, we've got an early start tomorrow, and we've only got about 22 hours left. So we're going to catch some kit, and we'll see you all in the morning. Goodbye. We're planning to um, try and get to a train station near here, and um, try and get on a train. If not, hitchhike down the motorway to, to Dover, and maybe still get on a ferry with a silver chance. But it's, it's cool here. I like yep. it here. And we, we do have about 
15, 14 hours and 45 minutes left. Yeah. Stop time. We're attempting to get to Dover at a traffic light. Cars, 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 cars. It's green. Oh, it's going red. Right, <laughs> our plan is as it goes red, people might be nice. Calais, we'll be coming back tonight as well, but we have made it. Awesome. Here we are on the uh, piano ferry in the Spirit of Rome. We are setting to go to Calais in about hmm, it's probably 20 minutes, I think, and we're going to get over in about an hour and a half to two hours. That's going to leave us a little dilemma because we're not sure whether to stay in Calais and get a boat back and pay less, or whether to try and get as far as we can with the remaining about six and a half hours we've got left today. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But until later when we leave, goodbye. But we're in France. Uh, no, in Dunkirk in France, aren't we still? Yep. We're going to a French athletic shop. Yep. Uh, we're going to lift with an awesome couple and we're going to have a good eat.